Here's a tyre pump for a car, or bike, or anything really that you can fit onto, and um, it's died, so I thought I'd open it up and see what's broken, and see if I can fix it. It wasn't expensive. What's the brand? Airman. I forget why I bought it, but it's got to be five years at least old. Uh, it was quite good. You can see it's got a uh, gauge on there. It's pretty inaccurate though, sadly. I think it overreads. On off button, and in here we've got a little compartment for different nozzles. So that's quite good because then you can blow up your footballs. Not quite sure what that was for. I guess you can just use that for anything that takes a, a small ish fitting. Inflatables, perhaps. So, seems quite over engineered, really, just to hold a couple of bits, but that was quite nice. And here is the hose. So, it folds in quite nicely, it's quite compact. And it's of the screw in type. So, you would normally screw that into your tyre valve. Um, underneath, of course, it's got the meters of cable and then ends up in the cigarette lighter socket. So there we go, we can do all sorts of different things and I think it says somewhere that it can inflate a tire. Yeah, 13 inch tire in seven minutes. I presume that's seven minutes of continuous use, that's yeah, it's not particularly quick, I don't think. But there we go. Instructions in there. So let's get to it. Let's open it up. And then we'll find out what's killed it. When it was inflating, it just uh, went from a regular normal inflation noise to a high-pitched noise, almost as if something broke inside. I've fixed one of these before, not this exact model, where the hose split and popped off. So it could be a nice, easy fix. But we will see. It looks like just Phillips screws at the back. So let's get it open. Nice easy access. Standard screws, Phillips or crosshead, posi drive one of those. You can see there it's got the noise warning. Yeah, it's pretty loud this one. Right, so there's something else somewhere. There's a hidden screw. Is there a hidden screw? There is, of course. Warranty void. Okay, let's tease it open, as you can see there, slide that off, ooh, let's take a closer look. These are always quite cool to look inside because there we go, look, you've got your cooling fan and you've got your pump mechanism, here's your main motor and well, you can obviously see the problem. So you've got your gear here from the motor. This goes into a larger cog, which has a piston. And this will go up and down and create a pumping action. Check out that. That's pretty severe. It's actually sheared. <laughs> Needless to say, not repairable. Oh. Wow, I was I was hoping it would be like a hose that's come off here. This is normally the weakness, and you can just cable tie this back. But wow, that's pretty hardcore. It's actually sheared. So there's your power coming in from your cigarette lighter. Comes into the switch, goes over to the motor, and then this would turn as you can see if I turn the, the fan 
needs a fan to keep it cool they get pretty warm and this would then in turn turn this larger cog here and it's quite difficult to do but this would this let's see if we can do anything here yeah, this would this would go up and down because you can see there it's slightly offset this would pump up and down pumping air through to your hose there we go and obviously you've got your gauge there because that would read any pressures so fairly simple really simple and you can see it probably only pumps on a particular stroke probably the upward stroke I guess and uh, there must be some uh, like a non-return valve in here so that it can read pressure but it doesn't leak out and then when this pumps it can only just pump a, a column of air through at each go at each pump and there's the breakage completely sheared and that's literally on just normal usage I actually think it was a 14 inch or 15 inch tire I was inflating I'd done two tires just checking them from about 28 psi I was doing the third tire again 28 psi up to 32 and well it's sheared so pretty poor let's be honest that's not good is it I don't know if that was a manufacturing fault but that is shoddy for the metal to break don't recommend them yes it's old but it hasn't had a lot of use let's see if we can get it out can I get it out yeah here we go let's get out the mechanism there we go look there's your cog there's got a face hello there's the breakage onto there look and this is our pump mechanism it's like a little cylinder isn't it that's all it is and uh, as it goes up it pushes pumps air through here you can actually hear it when I uh, you can hear the seal I mean, so it's quite nicely made, but just not strong enough. There we go. Look. Oh, look! It's even got like a bizarre casting there. Look, like an imprint of something. That's weird. And there's the seal. You can see my hands again are pretty filthy. Yeah. That gives you your airtight seal on the upstroke. Not much in there, look. Just pushes up, and here, well, this is the only thing that's going to be useful after all this pressure gauge. Now oh, you can see when. What's going on here then? Oh, there is the tiniest hole in there, just up here, inside. So that tiny hole pushes pressure into there, into the middle of there, and that obviously just reads the pressure, PSI or whatever. And the valve is in there as well, so you can kind of see that every time it pushes up, it must push that rubber away and allow the air to go through the pipe. crazy how that's broken off here look at that so whether it was not perfectly aligned and the stress of moving slightly off angle has broken it or whether it was just cracked during manufacturer who knows I guess these are built to a cost aren't they oh a date wheel what have we got here 
2007? Yeah, 1st of 2007. So yes, it's not new. But you don't often use a pump, do you? It's not like I'm running a garage with this, pumping up customers' cars. So yeah, maybe 10 uses. Tops. Hmm. There's the fan. That still works all right. Salvageable, what's on there? 12 volts. Switch. I'll, um, what was I gonna do? I was gonna unscrew this actually and have a look and see what's inside here. Okay, they were super loose, those screws. So they weren't tightened down very well. But let's lift this off. So this is the hose. Uh huh. And there we go. Oh, you can see the light through this bit here. So that tiny bit of pressure that leaks through. That leaks up to the gauge. There we go. So that's how the gauge would sit on the top there. And it's actually just a push fit. There we go. Mm, a bit rubbish. Uh, the case holds that in, of course. But yeah, a uh, bit rubbish. There is a gasket here, I guess, to stop air leaking. But as you can see, so through the hole, air comes up into there. It's quite a nice gauge. Shame it's inaccurate. And this end then. So, on the push up, it would push the spring away, push the spring up, allow air to come up through, and then down the pipe. So there's a hole just in there, probably can't see too well, but allows air to come down here and out through the hose, of course. So the spring must be set strong enough to close uh, in normal mode, I guess it seals quite well there. So when there's air pressure from the tire, it keeps it closed anyway to stop air leaking out into the mechanism. So when the air pushes up using the piston, so when the piston pushes up, pushes the spring out the way, and air is allowed to travel down the pipe. And then as the piston goes back down again, I suspect it kind of helps to seal that anyway because as the piston pushes down it probably sucks against the barrel and that closes and then it waits for the motor to push back up again like that so push up air goes out and as you come back down again that spring will just close Push against there. You can see where it's been resting. There's a slight indentation, the ring, probably from there. No idea why it's got this pattern. I thought that would just be a flat piece to help um, more air. I mean, that just creates a bit of turbulence, if, as far as I can see. Maybe there's a reason for that, I don't know. But I thought that would just be a, a flat, like a coin, smooth coin. But there we go. This is not rubber either. This is like a plastic, which is interesting. I thought that would be a rubber seal. You know, a bit like um, a ring around a piston for a car engine. But yeah, it's all metal. This is all plastic, of course. So... You know, you can see where the wear would be over time. It gets really floppy, really low slop there. So that's it. Pretty cheap, isn't it, really? I wouldn't recommend it. Wouldn't recommend Airman. Sadly. You know, to shear there, that's pretty bad. And I can't even use this um, because I'd have to... Oh, I'd have to use the case, wouldn't I, to hold that down.
And of course, it's not accurate as well. So, yeah, rubbish. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's good to see a tear down. See what's inside these things. Cheers for now. Bye.